This is a big effing deal, okay? So I'm gonna need you to just chill out for a hot sec before you go skipping to your sign. Hello, you beautiful, sexy souls on the internet, and welcome, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Tawny Michelle, and welcome to the Taurus Mother Effing Solar Eclipse video. I have a lot to say about this. This is such a big deal. Like we need to talk about the energy. Okay. We need to talk about the vibe of this eclipse. This eclipse is so much more than just a solar eclipse. Okay. Not that like, you know, a solar eclipse isn't enough already. Like that's a big deal already, but like this solar eclipse is bringing a like massive impact with it okay it is not coming to play this solar eclipse is bringing a vibe and we're gonna go over what the vibe is in just a sec so in this video i talk about what the solar eclipse is what it means and what the energy is looking like for this solar eclipse and do it in a relatable way that's like easy for you to understand and will make a lot of sense i am an astrologer that is very very relatable i try to make astrology really relatable and bring it down to earth so everybody can understand it and relate to it in some form or another and then after I explain what this energy is and what this solar eclipse is and what it's bringing then we will go into what it's bringing for each sign now with each sign your rising sign will resonate most so do remember that because I am doing the horoscope based off of your rising sign also before we start I do just want to say really quickly I have a lot of new stuff that I've been coming out with so if you've really been vibing with me lately if you've been vibing with my energy if I've been speaking to your soul if you've been really wondering what has shifted in me how I've gotten to where I am like I'm doing big things over here I am not fucking around okay I am like taking over the world you just don't know it yet but it's happening and it, it, it's fucking happening okay so anyway so if you want to be a part of that I offer a lot of different things that you can check out on my website below the main few things that I'm offering right now so my newest creation is the creator masterclass it is about embracing your creative energy we are all creators whether we know it or are tapped into it or not we because we are all a part of source and source is very fucking creative and I'm gonna be showing you the secrets the ins and outs of how I create and how you can create from your own energy to make an impact in the world to captivate people to really attract people to you the right people to you that are gonna really relate with you and understand you we are gonna be having a very empowering and inspiring conversation that's gonna leave you feeling inspired and ready to inspire others if you already are a creator of any kind whether you create YouTube videos Instagram reels whether you create TikToks, like if you are any kind of creator this would be amazing for you or if you've been wanting to start creating something whether it's a business a blog like products like whatever it is if you really want to tap into that creator energy that is within you and create magical fucking things that create an impact in the world that will help you feel more confident more in your power more like more in desire then this master class will be for you it is on early bird pricing at the time that i am announcing this but it will go up within a few days of me announcing this so if you would like to get in there at the current pricing and join this masterclass. It's a two-part masterclass where I am gonna be doing a, uh, like the actual masterclass and then there will be another live class a couple days later. That will be a QA and a where you can ask questions after you've had some time to like really process and integrate all of the information and all of the, the juicy transmissions that happen during the class. So I'm so excited about it. Also, on top of that, I got a spoon program which is three months long. It starts this weekend, actually on the day of the solar eclipse because Fuck yes, why not, right? And also, in that program, I am gonna be showing you how to step into your energetics, to align energetically, because when you are aligned energetically, everything starts to flow. You start to upgrade and expand in every area of your life. You start to own your power. You start to step into your power. You awaken who you really fucking are, and you live in a aligned place with your soul. Like, it is literally soul alignment and you start being able to handle things easier, you know what you're worth, you know your value, and you're not fucking around. And so we are gonna be doing tons of things in goddess mode. It involves tons of healing, tons of rituals, tons of ceremonies. We are gonna be working on sexuality. We are gonna be working on like just so many different things. That's like the full package, okay? And it's like literally the, it's gonna be my new foundational course. It's literally the most powerful thing that I've ever created. And it's something that I was channeling for months. And it's still, like I'm still channeling things for it. I'm so excited about both. They're both like just 
they just feel magical. I can already feel the lives that will forever be changed by goddess mode. And I can already feel the many that will be inspired by the creator masterclass and just inspired to create and bring more magic to this beautiful fucking world. So anyways, if any of those sound good to you, definitely make sure to check those out below. Also, I am doing one-on-one -on -one soul coaching, but it's so much more than that. Like not that, I mean, the soul is like an important thing anyway, but like I also have been dabbling and, and learning and expanding and growing in terms of business and energetics and healing and success and just all kinds of other really amazing stuff that I am learning and experiencing and channeling and just growing in. And so really it's like, it, it covers basically like anything and everything you could probably think of to live a more spiritually aligned life, to live a life that turns you the fuck on if you want it all, if you are like not fucking around and you want someone to guide you through it, you can fill out an application for my one-on-one -on -one coaching. And then as always, I still have my chart readings up on my website. So if you ever want a personalized chart reading with me, uh, if you want that, then that is always available down below too. So go check that out. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So this Taurus solar eclipse, you guys, is fucking beautiful. This is bringing the vibes. This is abundant energy, okay? This is seriously fucking abundant energy that's like, okay, if you want it all, if you want the things, if you want to create the life that you want, like this is such a creative energy. Taurus is ruled by Venus. So this solar eclipse is ruled by Venus and a solar eclipse is like an amplified new moon. Okay. Because it's in the same sign as the node, the North node and the North node is like amplifies things. Right. And so this energy is a faded karmic energy around the time of eclipses, because we are entering into eclipse season. We're going to have two eclipses in the next few weeks. So one more other than this Taurus solar eclipse. So eclipses are a time of really faded and karmic changes and shifts within our lives. And so if you've been feeling stuck in your life, or if you've been feeling like you want more in your life. This Taurus solar eclipse is coming in and saying, hey, look at all of this beautiful stuff that you can have. Like you are literally capable of so fucking much more. Okay. If you've been feeling resistance in your life, if you've been feeling stuck in your life, it's likely because in some area of your life, you want more and you know that you're capable of more. You know that you are meant for more, right? Like if your soul has been trying to tell you, Hey, we want more than this. Like we are capable of more than this. We can create more than this. Like this is the time to start honoring that and listening to that because by denying that you're denying yourself, you're denying an aspect of yourself. And that leads to tons of blockages, tons of shit that we don't want, tons of people in our lives that we don't want, tons of behaviors that we don't want, tons of just shitty shit basically. And it just makes us feel like we're not fulfilled, like we can't do what we want. And then we start being in conflict with ourselves and we start self-sabotaging and we start getting in our own way instead of actually like just going after what we fucking want, even though like, yes, it's scary. Yes, there is a level of trust here. Like Venus, Neptune, Jupiter, all our conjunct in Pisces. This is about trusting. This is about riding the fucking wave, no matter where it fucking takes you, right? Like this is about gliding, going with the flow, but also creating the life of your fucking dreams, okay? This Piscean energy has all been about where can you expand? Where can you expand emotionally, spiritually, through with your healing? Where can you expand to your dreams, your visions, what you really truly want out of life? Like, how can you get there? If you have a vision, how can you make that vision a reality? That vision, yes, it may be a feeling or a thought or a desire or whatever, but how can you make that your reality? How can you make that real? And this Taurus solar eclipse is like a massive turning point Point to do just that. It's a massive turning point saying, hey, you can make this a reality. Like Taurus is an earth sign. So it is all about the reality and things that are beautiful within our reality. And so Venus in Pisces with Neptune, with Jupiter is the ruler of this solar eclipse. So it's like all connected here. It is all fucking connected. So this solar eclipse in Taurus, a beautiful sign, Venus ruled sign that is about beauty and creation and blooming. It is right in the middle of spring when things are blooming, right? when things look start looking beautiful outside and nature is coming back to life and it's just like yes here I am it's like a, a like a woman that <laughs> like when you when you're at that point in your like womanly cycle and you get off your period and you're like oh my god yes bitch I am back like and you're feeling like confident and you are just like ready to rock shit right like that is what this Taurus energy is now the Scorpio lunar eclipse 
that happens in two weeks from now, that's a little bit more of like the purge, the period part, right? Like that's when it's like a little, you know, like <laughs> there's some icky things coming up, some fears, some blocks, some like shitty stuff that we need to face and work through. But Right now, for this particular solar eclipse in Taurus, it is beautiful, okay? And so something that really came through for me for this solar eclipse and for just like the collective in general is how big can you go? Where are you playing small in your life? Where are you doing things that just feel futile at this point? Where can you go bigger? Where can you expand? Where can you go after your dreams? Go after the things that you want. Like if it was all possible, right? If it was all possible, if you can see it, if you can ma and imagine it, it can happen right? So if it was all possible, if the universe was supporting you, how big would you go? What would you do? What would you be able to achieve? That is this energy right now. It is encouraging and supporting us to go big. Jupiter is about to move out of Pisces. So this like really nice, expansive, like, fuck yes, like, oh my gosh, like my dreams and I'm, I'm expanding into like my higher self and the highest version of me and like all that, that energy is going to start to fade. Now, doesn't mean that we're not going to have some of that or that those things can't still happen, but it's not going to be as prominent of a focus within our lives. So we do need to keep that in mind with it moving into Aries, with Jupiter moving into Aries, the focus is going to be more on expanding like the self and the, the fieriness within us, you know, like the instincts and the individual and like actually taking action and like going for what we want and all of that, which I still kind of like that energy too, but it's not going to be as dreamy, as mystical, as like, you know, just all of it, like spiritual and healing and ethereal and like otherworldly. Like now is the time to make miracles happen, right? Miracles are so fucking possible with this energy. And with Venus, with Neptune and Jupiter, it's like, yo, the universe has your back. The universe is fully in support of your dreams right now, okay? You may have to face some shit to get there right? It may not 100% be like an easy walk in the park. And that's where we hold ourselves back, right? Because we don't want to fucking face the shit. We don't want to like get out of our comfort zone. We, we are too afraid to fail. So we would rather fail ourselves before something else makes us fail, right? So we would rather just not do anything at all and end up failing because we didn't do anything at all than actually do the thing and fail. So either way though, you're failing because you think you're gonna fail if you go for it, but you're failing right now by not going for it. So if you're already failing right now by not going for it, then what's the fucking hurt and actually trying to go for it? What is the fucking harm and actually going for what you are capable of by actually living up to your full fucking potential? What is the harm in that? If you are willing to not do it at all, like you have been and fail by not doing anything, by not even trying or not even pushing through or, or whatever, then why are you not willing to actually like take the steps to see if it works? And I was talking about this on my Instagram today because I just had my first five figure month ever in my business, which is like insane. And I've been doing this for years. I'm not an overnight success. And I'm not saying this to brag. I'm saying this because it's like inspirational and because it's like real and it's be like blows my fucking mind. And I'm just so beyond grateful for you guys and like all of it, but like it's possible, right? And I kept going and I believed in myself. And so this is about believing in yourself. This is about believing in your dreams believing what you can create, believing in what you can create, having faith in what you can create, believing in some kind of higher purpose, higher vision, believing in your desires and what you came here to fucking create on this earth. And this is exactly why I'm doing my, my new creator masterclass, you know, because it's all of this creative energy because we are the creator. We all have a piece of source within us. And we are all here to create something, to create certain lives, to have certain experiences because we desired it, because our souls desired it. So when we don't listen to those desires, when we hold ourselves back or we think we're not capable or we like, you know, have a bunch of excuses or try to avoid certain things or, you know, or, like listen to our fears and let our fears run the show. Yeah, we're not going to be fucking happy. We're not going to be happy because we stopped believing that we were meant for more. 
which thank God it's just a freaking belief because a belief is not always true. So you're still meant for more, just your mind. Your mind is the reason that you're not creating the things that you want to create, creating the life that you want to have and doing the things that you want to do and, and expanding beyond your wildest dreams and upgrading beyond your wildest dreams and getting to the things that you want. And I've been saying for months now since last year that this year was the year to make miracles happen. It really is. And so if you are stuck in the small shit that really doesn't fucking matter, when you look back on the whole on the whole freaking thing of your life, on the whole story of your life, on the whole journey of your life, are these little fucking small things that you're worried about right now really going to matter to you? Are they really going to stick out to you that much? Or are you going to be like, damn, I wasted so much time on things that really that I didn't even care about? You know, and that was like a, the start of a ma massive shift for me a few months ago was I realized that I was focusing on shit that at the end of the day, I really didn't even care about. And that really didn't even matter. That like my fears were causing me to focus on these things and like obsess about these things, but really like they weren't making them ha make, making me happy. They were draining my energy, sucking the life out of me and they didn't feel good to focus on. So why was I doing it? You know, like I didn't need to be doing that, right? Like I was getting so involved in what was going on in the world and, and all of that because I couldn't just ignore it. And I did learn a lot from that experience, but eventually got to the point where it's like, okay, like, come on now is this really fucking helping, you know, because it doesn't feel like it is. And so this solar eclipse is otherworldly. It is the time to make shit happen. It is the time to shift into what's possible, shift into miracles instead of living in the what ifs or the buts or the wells or the I can'ts or the I shouldn'ts. Like it's, it's not about that right now, you know? It's been about that before. But if you're still living in that, if you're still, if you still have all these excuses for why you can't get to wherever, then you're not going to get there. And so either accept that it's just not gonna happen and you can just give up, or you can stop making the excuses and start believing in yourself and your vision and start making it happen now, right? We have no control right now over what's happened in the past, but right now we can influence the future. The decisions we make right fucking now influence the future, our path where we're going, all of it. So if you want to get somewhere, it starts right fucking now not tomorrow, not later, like right now. What can you do right fucking now to influence your future the way that you want it to be? It doesn't even need to be some big groundbreaking thing. I mean, it can be. If you wanna go that, if you wanna go all out, you can. This energy will fully support you, okay? This, the, the universe is fully fucking supporting whatever we're trying to create right now. It is fully fucking supporting our abundance, our creativity. It is fully fucking supporting anything that expands us and makes us feel fucking good, makes us feel like we are connected to everything. And when we feel connected to everything, it's from doing the things that we love. It's from being connected to ourselves. It's from healing all of the shit that we've been repressing, et cetera, et cetera. It's from actually doing the internal work and shifting and shifting out of the current energy that we're in. This is all about energy. It's Pisces, right? Like we got a bunch of stuff in Pisces. The solar eclipse in, is in Taurus though, but Venus that rules this solar eclipse is in Pisces too. So it's like a Pisces Taurus combo. And so it's really beautiful energy where like miracles can happen. The possibilities are endless. You can manifest your heart's desires so fucking easy right now. But like I said, it doesn't mean that the journey to get there is not going to have some road bumps that you can handle. Like you are more powerful than your fucking excuses. So stop. Like really, truly stop. 
you are so much more powerful than your excuses. So that is what I have to say about this solar eclipse in Taurus. It is so beautiful, so lively. It is just bringing life. It is bringing the beauty of life. And if you're not feeling that right now, it's because you are not being willing to expand to that. You're not being willing to, to plug into that frequency, right? And that's why I'm, I'm creating and, and coming out with all of these different things to help you plug into these different frequencies that will expand you beyond your wildest dreams, that will, that will shift you out of the current energy if you're truly ready, if you're truly fucking ready and you're willing and you're willing to invest on yourself, you're willing to invest on your future, you're willing to invest on your dreams, you're willing to invest your time, energy, decisions, etc., into your dreams, into your visions, into the, the life that you want to have. You're done fucking around. Those are the kind of people that I'm welcoming in my life lately. If you're not there yet, that's fine. <laughs> you know, it's 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 on our own time sometimes, but you're not there yet, not because you're not capable but because you're scared. So just remember that. It doesn't mean that you're not capable. It doesn't mean that it's too late. It doesn't mean that it's not gonna happen. You just have to get to that point where you're willing. You just have to get to that point where you're ready to trust, where you're ready to, to open to it. So with that being said, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I am posting on there all the time, every day, even like twice a day at times. I post on my story. That is where I, you know, you can keep up with me. You can keep up with everything I'm creating, everything I'm doing. My Instagram is the same as my name here, at Tawny Michelle Terology, which may, I may be changing to just Tawny Michelle here soon, by the way. So uh, hopefully this talk helped you. Definitely let me know down below if it related, if you needed to hear some of these things. Share this with anybody else that may need to hear some of these things in their life. So let's go ahead and start with the signs and talk about what is going on with the zodiac signs. Also, if you want to keep up with me as well, you can also sign up for my mailing list down below. You will get exclusive offers and keep up with everything that I'm creating. I am going to be doing uh, a money manifestation quantum money method kind of thing here in the near future so if you want to align with money um as i've been like really learning and figuring out the energetics of money business like growing expanding um you know soul alignment feminine energy like i've just been learning so much <laughs> and so i'm creating different things to really capture everything that i've learned so i can I can take you with me because people deserve to fucking feel this, like to wake up every day in gratitude and feel alive and feel just fucking like, oh my gosh, what can I create today? What can I do today? Like just ready to give back because you're overflowing. Like everyone deserves to fucking feel like that. And this is how we should be living. But we've been conditioned as a society for so long and just like gotten so far away from our, our nature, our spirituality, like our, our connectedness, you know, like our energy and our energetics. And like, and so I really want to bring this into people's lives and really show them what's possible, show them what they're capable of and show them the miraculous things that happen when you align. And it's just freaking beautiful. And I'm just so excited for everything that I'm doing. And uh, yeah, so if you want to keep up with me, join me on my mailing list and also join me on Instagram. Uh, everything is linked down below and let's go ahead and start on these zodiac signs. Alrighty Taurus, starting with you since it's a solar eclipse in your sign, happy birthday. If your birthday is anytime soon in your Taurus sun, this will resonate mo most though for Taurus risings though. So do remember that and let's get into it. So the solar eclipse is happening in your sign Taurus and this is such a big deal. This is such a massive shift in who you are, what you want out of life, what you're doing in life, your place in the world, like thing you could be starting something so new, you could be feeling like your life is just expanding and you're just upgrading in so many ways. There could be so many things that you are wanting out of the world and out of your life and that you are expanding and kind of calibrating to, you know, like it's like there's like a new frequency I feel here for you, Taurus, that you're tapping into and this solar eclipse is going to mark a really major new shift and new beginning in your life. It's like a major new portal that is like cementing 
<laughs> into your life that's like there's no turning back after this you know it's like I am doing this I'm going for this and it's such a drastic shift it's such a drastic change but you're ready you can handle it and it's like you are going for what you really desire in life and what you really want out of life and you are really attracting what you want out of life attracting the fruits of your labor so to say you know and so this solar eclipse is just such a massive new beginning for you it is such a massive shift it's like a portal that's opening up and it's like everything about you is changing everything about you is upgrading in so many different ways everything about you is really shifting with this energy and you're stepping into this new you you're stepping into this new version of you. Now, it may not be 100% clear just yet for some of you on this eclipse. It may take like a couple weeks or a couple months for this to really like fully tell its story, so to say. Like you may look back a few months from now or later on this year and say, oh, okay, yeah, right around that Taurus solar eclipse was really when things happened and really when things shifted for me. And so that's really what I see personally and feel personally for you, Taurus, is happening. It's like you are stepping into a new, solid, secure, more abundant version of yourself and it's time. And if you're not feeling quite there yet, then it's time to get there. It's time to step into that you. It's like you're you're getting this calling out in the world or out with people to to really make an impact with people, to really captivate different people, to really like find your soul tribe and really figure out what you want out of your life and what you want to gain, what you want to achieve, what your aspirations are. And so that is what I see for you for this solar eclipse, Taurus. Let me know down below if this resonated. If you missed the beginning, definitely go back and watch that. You are not going to want to miss that. And then also, as I stated earlier in the video, I have a lot of new creations that I am coming out with right now. I have a three-month program, Goddess Mode, which is starting this Saturday. It is a life-changing fucking journey, like no bullshit. So uh, go check that out if you're interested. There are payment plan options. And then I also have a new masterclass called the Creator Masterclass. And it is going to be so magical and so powerful and teach you how to create in a way that is magical, that captivates, that inspires, that empowers and really what the creator is and, and how to really tap into that part of you. So if any of that interests you, check out the links down below. I love you, Taurus. Let me know if this related and I will see you guys in my other videos. Bye. Alrighty, moving on to Gemini. So for Gemini, darling, this solar eclipse is happening in your 12th house sector with Venus, Neptune, and Jupiter conjunct in your 10th house. So this is a massive time that is shedding light on things going on possibly behind the scenes on where you need to maybe connect with some subconscious stuff that's going on in terms of pleasure, beauty, security, your wants, your desires, creation, you know, things that are going on behind the scenes. It's really kind of pulling you inward and, and trying to assist you in finding maybe, you know, something that's going on inside of you or something that's going on uh, behind the scenes in some way. But also with Venus and your Venus, Jupiter and Neptune in your 10th house of career, public image, reputation, what you're doing in the world and, and your goals and, you know, ambitions and achievements in the world, what you like your legacy, you know, it's like really having you question what you want. Do you want maybe just a more simple life where you're like out of the spotlight and but you're actually like also doing what you love and, and making an impact in the world and, and calling in your desires and calling in the 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 dreams, you know, it's like this is a very dreamy energy, but it's also a very subconscious energy. It's like an energy of really tapping into what's going on behind the scenes. So it's almost like an unseen new beginning for you right now. Like it may not be 100% noticeable to you at first since it is happening in your 12th house and it is a solar eclipse, which is basically where the, the, you know, everything goes kind of dark. And so it's almost like a portal that is like, okay, like if there's some healing that needs to be done and you're finding new ways to heal or more pleasurable ways to heal or more secure ways to heal. And you're also seeing where maybe you like, maybe you've self-sabotaged yourself in the past, or maybe you've held yourself back in some way in the past. And so, so yeah, it's, it's a very interesting energy for you, Gemini. I would really love to know how this relates down below and what you are noticing coming up in your life at the current time, just because I'm really honestly curious, you know, with how this energy is affecting you, how this Taurus North node in your 12th house has been affecting you. And then also, if you're interested, I have 
new programs coming out. I have a new master class that uh, we are gonna be diving into very, very soon called The Creator. And it's about tapping into your creative energy and making an impact and captivating people in the world. And creating with your magic. It's going to be a very inspiring and empowering masterclass. It's a two-part masterclass. You don't want to miss it if you want to sign up with the early bird pricing. Everything is linked below. And then I also have my new long-term program that I have right now called Goddess Mode, which is starting this Saturday. So you have some time left to sign up. There are payment plan options if you're interested more in that aligning to your soul and aligning to your goddess frequency and being in your power and like just going on a transformational journey of a lifetime, then definitely see the links below. Follow me on Instagram. If you don't already, I post on there all the time. And I love you guys. I will see you guys in my other videos. Bye. Alrighty, Cancer, let's do this. So this solar eclipse for you is happening in your 11th house of your friends, your social life, other people, your aspirations, what you want and what you receive out of the ventures that you go on in the world, your career and, and all of those types of things. So this solar eclipse is really bringing up a focus on the cliques that you belong to, the the where your place in the world is. And with Venus, Neptune and Jupiter conjunct in your eighth house, uh, oh no, I'm sorry, your ninth house. Uh, this is just really inspiring energy for Cancer Risings right now. This is really bringing up an abundance of Who's your tribe, you know, and, and, and where are you going? There's like a spiritual mission or some kind of maybe even philosophical mission or some kind of higher learning that's been calling to you, or maybe it's travel, or maybe it's another culture or something like that. It's like really getting out of your comfort zone and doing something new and solidifying that into your life. Like where can you integrate something new, something bigger, something higher? It's like you've been expanding rapidly in terms of your learning and where your, you know, your path and where you feel your purpose is, what you find meaning and purpose in life. And so with this solar eclipse, this is asking you like, can you commit to a mission that is going to bring more meaning and purpose into your life? Can you really solidify that? You know, can you create something, build something that brings in more of that expansion, that creative force, that creative focus, that, that, you know, abundant energy, that, that fulfilling energy, you know, it's like your soul is really figuring out why it came here. What is your mission? What do you want to do? And you're getting hints of it. You're getting visions. And it's like, are you going to follow those visions? Are you going to lead? Are you going to create something? Are you going to maybe collaborate with others or create something for others or be a part of something bigger than yourself, you know? And that's really what this is about. It's about being a part of something bigger than yourself. And that was really weird. That came out of my mouth, but it was not a thought in my head. So that was just really strange how that just happened. And that's kind of, it goes perfectly with this energy actually. So yeah, this is about creating something bigger than yourself and finding out who you want to do that with and, and how you want to do that and who you want to be a part of that and where you want to go and the things that you want to do. Like there's so much life left to live, right? There's so much life for you to live here. And it's like, there's so many things out there that you want to experience. And if you don't do something, you're not going to experience them, right? Like, like not that you won't ever experience them, right? Like you can do something, but you have to like start pulling that in and making that happen. And I was talking a lot about this in the first part of this video. So if you missed that, definitely go back and watch because it was very inspiring. A lot was coming through, it's channeling. It was just like, it, it was fucking great. So what feels like a fuck yes in your life right now, Cancer? What feels like, oh my gosh, this is what I need to do, or I've been wanting to explore this. Like, where do you need to explore? Where do you need to find the things and f figure out what it is that brings you a sense of purpose? It's like, you're not going to find it unless you try different things, unless you follow these different insights, these different visions, these different you know, callings that you have. Where's your soul being called to explore, right? And that's what this is about. It's about growing and expanding and learning new things and really diving into the things that, that make you feel good, that feel good, that, you know, this, this could also be like a teaching opportunity or a mentoring opportunity or like a, a, a course that you're taking or, you know, something like that. But it's like something here, it's like there's more, there's more. And when you're ready to dive in, you will, right? And so this solar eclipse is like, are you ready to dive in? Are you ready to truly shift? Are you ready to truly follow this calling and like truly invest in this calling, 
like make the freaking decision, right? Instead of like tiptoeing around it or waiting for your circumstances to change or whatever. It's like, no, this is not about that. Like it is about doing it, right? Like it is about getting out there and freaking doing it. We also have Mars and Pisces, you know, you're feeling very driven to learn more, to grow more, to expand more. And so you have to find that next level. You have to find that next frequency that's going to expand you, whether it's a, a teacher, a mentor, a guru, a course, a, you know, traveling, whatever it is, it's like you need to do something, right? If you want to expand, if you want to grow, if you really want to like meet the right people, meet the right influences, create the impact that you want to create or you know do whatever it is that you want to do like move to the next level then this is what you have to do okay so that is what i'm seeing for you cancer definitely let me know down below if that resonates i would really really love to hear your feedback make sure to follow me on instagram i post on instagram daily so you definitely want to be keeping up with me on there and then also i have two new creations that are right around the corner my newest creation is the creator master class and it is a master class where i am teaching you how to tap into your creative energy and make an impact in the world and captivate people with your creator energy and uh yeah the creator energy is within us all and it's what gives us confidence it's what makes us feel connected to everything it's what gives us life and joy in life right we are all creating all the time whether we know it or not some of us have repressed our creative energy though or you know have kind of buried it within us in some way and so this master class is meant to awaken that and liberate that and inspire you and inspire you to inspire others right and also i have my newest longer term program it's a three-month program it's called goddess mode where we are awakening the goddess frequency within us where we are learning about our own inner goddess how to be a goddess in our lives which involves being aligned within our masculine and feminine energies and our soul and living from a place of our soul and making decisions from that place, being in our power and healing rapidly and quickly. Like the women that have signed up, we haven't even started yet, we start this Saturday, but the women that have signed up are already no noticing mind-blowing changes just by signing up. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, this could be that that course or that teaching or that, that next level for you, then definitely make sure to check it out down below. There are payment plans. We start this Saturday. All sessions are recorded, so you can go back and watch if you can't always make it live with us. But um, I love you, Cancer. Thank you so, so much for watching. Definitely let me know down below if any of this resonated, and we are going to move on to Leo. What is going on, my lovely fellow Leo Risings, and welcome to your... Taurus solar eclipse horoscope kind of almost like forgot what I was saying there for a second but uh yeah so welcome to your horoscope for this Taurus solar eclipse this solar eclipse is so huge if you miss the beginning you definitely want to go back and watch because it will fill in a lot of blanks like this solar eclipse is so freaking big and I'm a Leo rising so a lot of what I talked about in the beginning is definitely likely going to relate in some way shape or form to you too if you are also a Leo rising so but this is happening in our 10th house so this is like a big deal this is like we are shifting, expanding, and growing beyond anything that we ever have done before when it comes to our career, when it comes to what we're doing in the world, what we want for our life, our achievements, our goals, what we're going for. It's like we are going as far out as we can go until we reach some kind of ceiling. And we also have this Jupiter, Venus, Neptune conjunction in our eighth house. So this is like expanding us when it comes to money, business, finances, you know, how do we exchange money with other people, transactional, you know, monetary situations or transactional situations with energy and resources and all of that. And so we've been expanding and growing in a lot of those ways. And Jupiter in our eighth has also been possibly us tapping into things that are more esoteric or occult or, you know, things like energy and stuff like that and so this is just such a beautiful energy and if it's not feeling beautiful right now to you leo then definitely watch the beginning because i talked about why some people may not be in this frequency of this expanding and upgrading energy you know but basically i think that if you're not in this energy i mean it could be that you have something else going on in your chart that's being aspected but this is such a powerful energy. It's such a powerful portal where we are shifting the way that we do business. We are shifting the way that we show up in the world. We are shifting the way that we envision our lives and what we want for our lives. Like what we want for our lives is shifting. And we are like, it is time to go after it. It is time to make it happen. It is time to go bigger than we've ever gone before. It is time to step into our power, to step into who we really want to be, our potential. Like all of that is so fucking huge right now for Leo Risings. And so 
if you really want to tap into this energy, it's like now is the time this solar eclipse is marking a massive new beginning. It's like a portal that's opening that is like, hey, if, if you really want to upgrade, if you really want to live the life that you want to have, if you really want to have the things that you want, if you really want to have the success that you want, make the kind of money that you want, make the impact that you want, if you really want to lead in that way, then things may need to shift with you. You may need to heal some things within yourself. You may need to walk through some fears. You may need to, you know, it's like you have to just stick with it, right? Like you have to fully like liberate yourself from the things that are holding you back. And so this solar eclipse is marking a massive seed that is being planted in terms of career, in terms of our potential, in terms of where we're going in the world, what we want to do in the world, success and what success looks like. Like all of that is being planted at this time. And it's like, you can continue to water it or you can forget about it and avoid it and not water it and you know and not let it go anywhere and so it's like you have the potential to expand and grow beyond your wildest dreams to make so many of your dreams come true to make so many of your dreams happen but you also have the 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 ability to not do that you know and to hold yourself back and to not go after the life that you want and so the solar eclipse is really showing us the life that we want and it's planting that seed and it's making it happen and it's it's showing us that there's a new way to do something. A lot of Leo Risings could be shifting careers or shifting what they're doing in their career or shifting what they want to do in the world or, you know, whatever the case may be. But this solar eclipse is marking that new beginning, that new faded beginning that is really showing us what is aligned with us at this time when it comes to career, finances, money and all of that. And another big thing I forgot to mention in your reading, Leo, that I've seen with all this eighth house energy, this Pisces eighth house energy in Jupiter, is investing. It's another massive lesson I've been learning about investing, investing in yourself, investing your time, energy, or money. Your decisions in yourself now makes the biggest difference for your future, right? And so what you want your future to look like starts right now. So if you want to get somewhere in your future, the decisions you're making right now are going to influence that. And so are the decisions that you're making are the things that you're doing right now, like leading or adding to or are getting you to this thing that you want in the future or this goal that you want, this vision that you have, or are they going against it? And so that's something else that you, I think you, we should all really be asking ourselves if you're Leo rising especially. So, so hopefully that resonates, Leo. Let me know down below if it does. And if you've been seeing any of these themes come up in your own lives as a Leo rising, I would really, really be curious and interested to hear your feedback on that. So also, if you want to uh, keep up with me even more, I have a brand new masterclass that is coming out that I'm doing here soon called The Creator. And it's still an early bird pricing, so you can get it for the current pricing if you sign up in the next like couple days. And this uh, masterclass, I'm going to be teaching you all of my juicy secrets and codes when it comes to creating and the creator archetype and how to create. And it's going to be a very empo empowering masterclass and you're going to leave feeling inspired, confident and like ready to create, ready to create an impact in the world and ready to do some shit to create some magic, to captivate people, to turn heads with the things that you create. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure to sign up down below before we start. And then I also have my next three month program, Goddess Mode. And this is such a big deal. Like I'm so, so freaking excited for this. This, this program is going to be so powerful. It's going to be life changing. And this is where we are getting aligned with our soul and living from our soul, doing tons of energetic work, tons of healing, and really just coming into alignment with ourselves, our lives, and making shit happen, upgrading, living the life that we want to live. Like all of these things that I just talked about in your reading, I'm doing in this program. Anyways, let me know if any of that resonates below. If you'd like to sign up for any of my stuff, just see the description below. I love you, Leo. Happy solar eclipse and follow me on Instagram if you don't. And we are going to move on to Virgo. All righty, Virgo. So this is for Virgo rising. So for, if you're a Virgo rising, this solar eclipse is happening in your ninth house. Juicy stuff. So you are really examining the way that you view the world, your belief systems, your worldviews, and just the lens or the filter in which you view the world, how you find meaning and purpose in the world, what you believe in, your political views, your religious views, your spiritual views, your philosophical views, also learning and you know where you are expanding in terms of your learning, your understanding, your education, how you view things, your perspectives. 
So this solar eclipse is setting a major new tone in this area. It's a very faded energy that's happening here that is planting seeds in this area of your life where you could notice these themes coming up, especially over the next six months, where you start to cultivate a new belief system, a new worldview, or a new way of looking at things. And, you know, it's going to be one that is more stable or feels more secure or more pleasurable or that adds more beauty and pleasure into your life, you know? Maybe before you had kind of this dark, grim, like, shitty worldview or this shitty perspective and this Taurus solar eclipse is coming in, like, okay, uh, where can we cultivate something that is more beautiful, that brings more beauty and pleasure and comfort and, you know, all of that into how we're looking at things, you know? And then also we have this Venus now Neptune Jupiter conjunction happening at the time of this solar eclipse in your seventh house of Pisces. So, and this is your relationship sector, other people, your partner, and commitments and agreements, and the the one on one close connections that you have in your life. And so, with this conjunction happening here, you know, there's been a lot of growth and expanding probably happening with your partner, or there's just been a lot of growth and expansion happening within your relationships in some way. Maybe, you know, with Venus here, this could have something to do with your partner's money or your partner's success or something that they're going through at this time. And so this could be like, you know, maybe your partner's belief system is changing. And maybe this is a time where you can find a way to find a middle ground with that or find a way to be more supportive of that or be a little bit more open with that. Or maybe you and your partner are both going through a different kind of shift with your worldviews, your belief systems, your political views, your religious views, you know, this could be a time where things are kind of shifting in that area with, with your beliefs or with your partner's beliefs and um, or both of your beliefs, you know, and so those are some of the things that you could really notice coming up around this time. This could also be bringing in, you know, a new person into your life or a new relationship into your life, or it could be bringing up, you know, something that needs to be expanded or opened up to or uh, integrated or upgraded in terms of your relationships in your life. And if it's not a romantic partner, it could be a business partner or it could be like a really good friend or something like that. So those are the things that I see coming in with this solar eclipse for you, Virgo. Hopefully that resonates. Definitely feel free to let me know down below if you do notice these things coming up. I'd really, really love to hear your feedback on that. Um, and also another thing I would like to say is that with you being a Virgo rising and all of this Pisces energy happening in your opposite sign, you can kind of at the time see this as like all this Pisces energy is like too much or too expansive or too over the top or too dreamy or too out there or something like that. So this could be in terms of maybe like your partner or the people in your life may seem this way, you know? They may not seem practical or grounded enough for you because you are a Virgo rising and this is opposing your rising. And so it can really feel like you're kind of picking and criticizing things while your partner or the people in your life are really growing and expanding and, you know, going through all of these crazy experiences. And so to you, it may seem a little bit unrealistic, but maybe there's a way to meet in the middle, you know, with Venus being in your seventh house and ruling this solar eclipse. Like maybe you can see it from a higher perspective. Maybe you can loosen up a little bit. Maybe you can tap into that expansive energy, you know, and, and really upgrade or, or be more interested in what they're going through or, you know, find a way to, you know, tap into some of that as well for you, you know? So hopefully that resonates. Let me know down below, Virgo. Also, I have two new programs that are about to start. I have a master class, a two-part master class that is on early bird pricing right now. So if you are interested in that, see the description below. It is called the Creator Master Class, where we are going to be tapping into the creator within and how to create magic and impact in the world that turns heads okay and then we are also starting goddess mode this weekend my newest three-month program sacred powerful life-changing af program that is all about aligning within your energetics and soul alignment and living from the soul and doing the things that you never thought fucking possible like being so aligned with the universal flow and in the universe and expanding beyond your wildest dreams and so if any of that sounds good to you and you would like to sign up see the description below i love you virgo make sure to follow me on instagram if you don't already and i will see you guys in my other videos Hello, Libra. So this solar eclipse for you, Libra, is happening in your eighth house sector of finances, investments, other people's money, transactional pursuits or transactional situations where there's like an exchange of energy, money, resources, etc. 
So this solar eclipse is all about money and finances, honey. Um, your investments, where you're putting your time, your money, your energy. You've probably been learning and growing a lot in this area the last few months. So this is the first solar eclipse that we're having here. So it's like very karmic, faded energy that's coming up where, you know, you are really planting seeds in terms of your finances, your financial future, what you want for yourself. Maybe you're paying off debts. Maybe you're getting to a place where you want to have more security, comfort, and stability with money. You want to be able to do beautiful things with money. And so maybe it's a time where you are investing, you know, in certain things that are going to bring you some kind of, you know, return that are going to bring you some kind of, uh, you know, abundant energy, like more abundant energy in your life. And then we also have the Venus, Jupiter, Neptune conjunction happening in Pisces in your sixth house. So on top of this, you have all of this beautiful, expansive energy happening in terms of your work, your day-to-day -day routines, your job, your health, all of that. So you've been really learning, growing, and expanding in these areas and, and seeing a lot of miraculous, beautiful energy here. So this is a really interesting energy, you know, with Venus ruling the solar eclipse, it's like maybe you're investing in a job or you're investing in work that you're trying to do, or maybe you're starting a business or you're wanting to start a business. And this would be a really beautiful, beautiful time to really like start planting the seeds for this with this Taurus solar eclipse. If you haven't already, you know, like this Taurus solar eclipse is planting the seeds for something. It really is like blooming something in our lives. It's like a portal that is bringing something through in the 3D earthly physical material world. And so it's like, what do you want to create in this world? What do you want to, to bring into being in this world? And so you've been likely really connected to your creativity on like a day to day level and you know, on a, on a level of, of really expanding and upgrading in your day-to-day -day reality with your routines and the, the work that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, is it pleasurable? Do you love it? Is it bringing you joy? Is it what you really desire? And if not, how can you start bringing in more abundance, more success, more business to really get to where you want to go? And so that is what I believe this is about for you if you are a Libra rising. Let me know down below, though, if this does resonate and if any of this does sound like what you've been experiencing. But yeah, so either way, you're, you're experiencing a really faded new beginning in terms of your money, your investments and how that is affecting like your day-to-day -day reality and work or ties that in somehow. And I really would love to hear your experiences with this energy down below, Libra, so please let me know. So other than that, just really quick, if you didn't know, I have a new masterclass that is starting here soon. It is called The Creator. It is a two-part masterclass. And uh, I'm going to be going live and really whoop, whoop, sorry, my phone died. But yeah, so I have this master class. It's going to be badass, basically, and it's going to empower the fuck out of you. So if you are interested, it is a more affordable offer. So if you are interested, check that out. If you are interested in more of a long term integration, healing, shifting, soul alignment, expansion, all the fucking things, if you are ready to upgrade in your power like never fucking before and have a life changing, a life changing transformational experience in every aspect of your life and who you are then i also have my newest program goddess mode that starts this saturday on the solar eclipse and i am so fucking alive and excited about it because this program is so magical the women that are inside already are already experiencing shifts and we haven't even started yet like literally major alignment major synchronicities major things happening for them already and we haven't even fucking started so it, it's just the energy of this program it's that powerful the energy of the goddess within us all and just the goddess collective frequency is that fucking powerful so if you are a woman and you want to shift dramatically if you want your life to look totally different if you want to be totally different in the next three months or you're already going through a major shift and you want the support to carry you through that is the program for you. You can find all of that link down below. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to keep up with me and all of my fabulous creations, all of my magical creations, and I will see you guys in my other videos. Bye. Alrighty, Scorpio darling, welcome to your Taurus solar eclipse horoscope. So this eclipse for you is happening in your seventh house. So this is like a massive new beginning, a massive new portal 
massive shifts, massive faded events are going to be happening in your relationship sector. Now, because it is a solar eclipse, sometimes these energies are not always seen right away. It's like a void, right? But something is coming and you can probably feel it. And it's like something huge is happening with your relationships, how you view your relationships, your relationships, your relationship dynamics, what you want out of a relationship. Maybe your partner is going through something very huge right now, or the really close people in your life are dealing with something really big, but this is a big, big faded shift in your close relationships. And then also we have the Venus, Jupiter, Neptune conjunction happening in your fifth house, which also deals with love, romance, joy, passion. So you've been really expanding in terms of your desires and where you find passion, where you find love, where you find romance, sexuality, like children and creation in general. And so this is like a really juicy, romantic, sexual, uh, fun, playful, pleasurable kind of time that really is bringing up your relationships, your one-on-one -on -one dynamics with others and what you want out of your relationships and your love life in general and how you want to expand and upgrade in those areas and what you desire and are you going after what you desire? Are you really truly fulfilled, happy? Do you feel abundant in terms of your relationships? Do you feel secure, stable? All of those things in your relationships right now where with your love life or with what you want out of your love life are you getting your desires are you are you getting the things that you want out of your life and out of your relationships right now and i think this solar eclipse could really be bringing these themes up for you and is going to start a massive shift for like the next six months that can ripple so definitely let me know down below scorpio if any of that resonates if you're noticing any of that and then also uh before we get off of here i actually have a new master class coming very very soon that is on early bird pricing right now for creative energy. It is called The Creator and it is going to be a very empowering, inspiring masterclass where I'm sharing all of the codes, all of my secrets with creating and how to create in a way that makes an impact and that really attracts the right people to you that captivates ma making magic that turns heads, you know, like creating magic that turns heads. So if that's something you're interested in, you can sign up down below. And then I also have my newest program, my newest long-term program that is a three-month container. It is called Goddess Mode and we are going to be shifting every area and aspect of ourselves and our lives in that program. It is transformational. It is life-changing. It is getting into soul alignment with you and your life like never fucking before. It is being in the balance of your masculine and feminine energy. It is for women only because we will be going over intimate topics so and doing intimate things. So if that is something that also interests you, you can check out more down below. There are payment plan options. And when you sign up for Goddess Mode right now, you can receive the Creator master class for free so as a bundle so if that's something that interests you check out the description below and then also follow me on instagram where i post a ton of shit that you do not want to miss so i love you scorpio thank you so so much for watching let me know down below if this resonated and i will see you guys in my next videos what is going on sagittarius so this solar eclipse this taurus solar eclipse for you is happening in your sixth house of work day-to-day -day routines what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, the work that you're putting in, the kind of job that you're doing, the kind of tasks that you do, the kind of things that you do to keep up with things on a day-to-day -day basis. It's like the upkeep, right? And it's also it also deals with your health for that reason because, you know, how can we upkeep things? How can we keep up with things if our health is not in order? So you could also notice some things coming up with health and stuff like that, or you could have been noticing these things as the North Node's been traveling through your sixth house. So with the solar eclipse here, it's amplified energy in this area. It's an amplified new beginning that's going to ripple through the next six months. So the seeds that you're planting now with these things, with these areas of life are going to become stronger and stronger the next six months. And you're going to eventually look back and see that this was kind of the catalyst or this was kind of the starting point for that. So we also have the Venus, Jupiter, Neptune conjunction happening in Pisces. And this is important because it's it's just a big fucking deal on its own. But also Venus is the ruler of this solar eclipse. And with this happening in Pisces in your fourth house, this could be that a lot of you are maybe trying to find a way to work from home, or maybe you are working from home, or maybe you are rearranging your lives in a way that helps you flow more within your work and within your personal life, or maybe you are doing work that is more personal or on a more personal level, you know? This Venus, Jupiter, Neptune conjunction has really been about expanding when it comes to your roots, your home, really learning and, and really seeing 
new ways of looking at things in terms of your past and you know where you come from and your family and those that you live with and all of that and so there's a lot of exploring and expanding and upgrading that you've been doing in your personal life your home life with your past maybe a lot of healing a lot of letting go a lot of transcending and somehow that may be correlating with your day-to-day job or your day-to-day lifestyle your day-to-day upkeep you know where you are wanting some more personal space in your in your job or wanting some more personal freedom within your job or within your day-to-day task that you do for your job for your work etc so those are some things that you could be noticing coming up or that you could have been noticing coming up honestly let me know down below if that resonates sag i would really really love to hear how this energy is affecting you and how you're noticing these transits happening in your chart and then also on top of that i do have two new big things that are happening right around the corner i have a new master class called the creator and it is about tapping into your creative potential to inspire empower and make an impact in the world and actually create magic that turns heads and it is on early bird pricing right now so if you would like to sign up just see the description below and i also have a new three-month program called goddess mode that is starting this weekend on the solar eclipse and uh, all sessions will be recorded and this is like soul alignment like so the sessions will be live actually i should say but they will all be recorded so if you can't make them live or if you sign up a little bit late like you'll be able to go back and watch them but this is for soul alignment soul transmutation like really fucking shifting in every area of your life and stepping into your power and creating a life beyond your wildest fucking dreams being in sync and in the flow with the universe like everything is going into this three-month program and it's it's mind-blowing what's already happening to the women inside before we've even started yet just from being in this energy shit is changing drastically for them already they're having amazing fucking miraculous experiences that align totally with the program and it's just absolutely amazing so if those are something that you are interested in if those things are something that you are interested and definitely see the link below or the links below and also follow me on instagram so you don't miss out so you keep up with me i post on instagram all the time daily so you will never miss anything that's going on with me i love you sag thank you so much for watching and we are going to move on to capricorn capricorn Alrighty, Capricorn, this solar eclipse for you is happening in your fifth house sector of children, romance, love, beauty, pleasure, sexuality, like all of the juicy things, like the things that really just give you joy and make your heart sing and make you feel alive and are fun and, and just exciting and inspirational. And so this is a time where you could be really tapping into massive creative energy and really just tapping into the things that you love this is a new beginning a new faded beginning that's happening in terms of what you want to create in this world and what feels good to you what brings you pleasure what makes your heart just feel alive and what just brings you so much abundance in terms of the things that you love in life and also like sexuality and dating and romance and and all of the things like what do you want to create what does your heart want to do what feels fun what feels light and just like makes you feel like a child again like what unlocks that inner child within you now on top of this we have a venus jupiter neptune conjunction happening in your third house in pisces so this is major creative energy if you are a capricorn rising like this is really putting your skills your talents your everything to the test and just really fucking having faith and trusting and something that feels aligned creatively or something that feels aligned to do with what brings you pleasure what gives you joy what like really just feels good in your heart you know and so this is a major time for these things you could be you know doing something with your community or doing something with friends or doing something in your local environment or really expanding and growing in your local environment you know you could be really focusing on a hobby or focusing on creating something that really brings people together or that really feels good in some way and so you could also be going to an event around this time or two different events or doing different things you know exploring different areas of your environment your your town your city you know like going on short trips short travels 
And so this is just really beautiful energy if you're a Capricorn rising. I really, really like this eclipse energy for you if you're a Capricorn rising. And so with that being said, especially for you Capricorn, I have a new master class that is starting soon uh, next week that deals with the creative energy, the creative force within us all. And it is called The Creator. And it really is a master class that is going to empower you and inspire you to inspire others with your own creative magic. And I'm really giving you like all the secrets secrets, tips, tricks, lessons, all of my own magic that I've learned in terms of creativity and how to really tap into that energy inside of you and create an impact in the world and create magic in the world and like literally create magic that turns heads, right? And so this is going to be a really beautiful, empowering, and magical masterclass. So if this is interesting to you, if you would like to sign up, it is still on early bird pricing for a few more days at the time that I'm filming this and posting this. So if you would like to sign up, see the link below. Below. It is a two-part masterclass. And then I'm also starting this weekend on the solar eclipse my long-term program that is going to be three months long. It is called Goddess Mode, and I've been advertising the shit out of it uh, for the last couple weeks now. But if you haven't seen it or don't know what it's about, there's a link down below. But it is basically about soul alignment aligning with your soul, aligning with your purpose, aligning with the goddess within. It is for women only just because we will be discussing and moving through intimate spaces and topics. And so there will be ceremonies, there will be sexual healing, there will be liberation, there will be activating uh, the creative force inside you. That's where we'll be really doing it together and and integrating a lot of what we learn in the creator masterclass, plus tons more like goddess mode on its own is just so much more. The creator masterclass is, is a more, it's more focused on creating an impact in the world and using your creative energy for creating an impact and all of that where goddess mode is like the full everything like soul alignment healing like stepping into your goddess energy expanding yourself and your life beyond your wildest dreams and going after your desires and all of that so if this sounds interesting to you if any of that sounds interesting to you check the description below click on the links we would love to have you the women inside are fucking amazing and so many are already experiencing shifts just aligning to these frequencies and so it's just absolutely mind-blowing so this energy is powerful potent like no fucking joke like life-changing fucking shit. So anyways, I will let you guys go. Follow me on Instagram if you want to keep up with me and get free content every fucking day and keep up with my journey and keep up with what I'm getting into and keep up with what I'm creating and what I'm doing and all the shit. And uh, I love you. I will see you guys in my other videos. Bye. What is going on, Aquarius? So welcome to this Taurus solar eclipse reading for you. So this solar eclipse is happening in your fourth house. So this is a time of really getting back to your roots, getting back to your private life. What is going on in your personal life? What do you want to create? What's going on with your foundation, your nest? Is the foundation underneath of you sturdy? And what do you want to create? Do you want to lay down roots somewhere? Like this really could look like creating and laying down roots somewhere and really thinking about what you want to do in terms of your living situation, your home life, your family, you know, your your personal life. And so this solar eclipse is really starting kind of like a ripple effect in this area where you're really focused inward. You're really focused on your personal life. You're really focused on what's going on behind the scenes and your emotions and your past and letting things go from your past and really uh, digging in and, and figuring things out in terms of where you come from, your roots and your family and your lineage and all of these types of things. So this could really be coming up or at least this could be a catalyst that starts these themes that start coming up over like the next six months. So in eclipses ripple for six months. So this is kind of like the start of that. It's like a portal that's really showing you something or really bringing something Thing up and showing you what you where you want to anchor in your life what you want to be tethered to and what you want to create to create more stability security comfort beauty harmony luxury like taste and, and joy and and all of that in your life and so Anyways, we also have the Venus, Neptune, Jupiter conjunction happening in your second house. So this is a major time for expansion with money, finances, resources, and energy when it comes to money, finances, and resources. And so this is like, what kind of money are you making? What kind of money do you want to be making? What kind of values do you have? What are your priorities? How can you expand what you can hold? How can you expand what you're capable of holding, what you're capable of having, what you're capable of holding on to, what you're capable of making for yourself? and the resources that you want to have and make and 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 have for yourself you know and so that is really what this is about and so you could be noticing that maybe it's like you want to 
do something different in terms of your home or maybe you want to buy a house or maybe you want to change your living situation in some way to be more comfortable or you know maybe you want to like just get a camper and like live on the road or something you know like have your own things you know the second house is about what you own and the fourth house is about your home family house you know (laughs) living situation nest all of that like what your your roots you know and so these themes could be really coming up for this solar eclipse or they could be starting a lot on this solar eclipse so definitely let me know down below let me know if you are seeing those themes i would really really love to hear how you're noticing this astrology and these transits coming up in your life down below and then also if you are interested i have a master class uh starting next week and it is the creator master class and it is about tapping into your full creative potential and creating magic that turns heads and creating an impact in the world and inspiring others and so anyways if you're interested in that you can sign up down below it is on early bird pricing and then also my newest program my new my newest most powerful program that i've ever created my three-month program goddess mode is starting this saturday on the solar eclipse and this is a life-changing freaking ride i mean this program is like nothing i've ever created before we it is like literal soul alignment energetics like just stepping into your power and living a life beyond your wildest fucking dreams going after your desires healing trauma healing sexuality energetic shifts like just it is a powerful portal and the women inside are already noticing major major changes synchronicities shifts like just out of this world experiences they are having and we haven't even started yet so this portal that i've created is powerful it is a sacred container for three months so if that is also something that you are interested in see the link down below Follow me on Instagram for tons of free stuff on the daily, and I will see you guys in my other videos. Bye! What's up, Pisces? So this solar eclipse for you is happening in your third house of people, places, and things. Your environment, your neighborhood, your surroundings, friends, family, uh, relatives, cousins, siblings, and also just like the things that you do on like a day-to-day basis so what are you wanting to create more of in your life what ideas do you have that need to be planted or actualized you know where do you want to bring in certain things like these certain desires and manifest them into the physical you know where are your viewpoints and your perception and your perspectives like where does that need to change in your life or you know this solar eclipse could also be like the start of like a brand new perspective or something new that you're doing in your local environment or a short trip that you're going on or you know something that's going to create a pretty big impact in your life because it is a solar eclipse now what's also interesting is that during the solar eclipse we have the venus neptune jupiter conjunction happening in your first house and your sign and so this is a time where you're feeling very motivated to expand to upgrade to grow for freedom you know you're just feeling very very inspired and you're wanting to expand grow and create and this solar eclipse in your third is like actually creating the things actually doing the things actually making them happen bringing them into your reality bringing them into the real world and so it's like you're really starting to see your full potential pisces and i feel like this solar eclipse is really showing you different ideas and different ways you can go about creating the things that you want it's a very faded faded time it's like a faded portal that's opening up that's showing you different ways and and different things that you can do So that is basically what I'm seeing for you, Pisces, uh, for this solar eclipse in Taurus. Let me know down below if these things do resonate. If you are seeing these things in your life, I would really, really love to hear your feedback. And I'm really curious to see what you guys are experiencing. This could also be like learning. You could be learning something new. You could be going on a short trip, you know, something like that. You could be learning a new skill. You could be creating something. Definitely let me know down below. But with that being said, I have a new masterclass that is coming out next week that is called the Creator Masterclass. And this is a masterclass that where I am showing you how I create and I'm showing you how to inspire other people, how to use your creativity, tap into the creative force within you to inspire and make an impact, like creating magic that turns heads this is going to be a very very empowering two-part masterclass. we're going to have the master class and then there's going to be a separate live a couple days later for the q a where you can ask me questions live and so if this something if this is something that interests you and you really want to know how to tap into that creative force or you're feeling creatively blocked or you just want to create an impact in the world and you're struggling with that then this is the master class for you so 
see the description down below. Sorry, I'm like running out of breath over here from talking so much, but like see the description down below. I would love, love, love to have you in there. We already have people in there and it's just like, just so exciting. I cannot wait. This masterclass is gonna be freaking amazing. I just cannot wait. And then we also have my newest program, Goddess Mode, which is starting this weekend on the solar eclipse. I am so fucking excited. Like everything that I have went through, like is channeled into this program. It is life-changing. The women inside are already experiencing shifts before we've even started. And it is about soul alignment, living your life from soul alignment, stepping into your freaking power, being the fucking goddess in your life, like just unshakable confidence, self-love, power, like doing it fucking all. This is all of it. This is like my signature foundational program from here on out, and it will double or triple the price next year when I offer it again, because it is just that freaking powerful like i am just like just it's it's fucking amazing so if you want to sign up there are payment plan options as well then definitely do that down below we start this saturday but you can sign up late uh the classes will be recorded uh so if you miss the live classes you will get access to watch them later so anyways i love you pisces follow me on instagram and get a bunch of free content every day and i will see you guys in my other videos Bye. What's up, Aries? Welcome to your Taurus solar eclipse horoscope. So this horoscope for you, or I'm sorry, this solar eclipse, I'm like starting to not be able to talk because I've been sitting here talking forever, but this solar eclipse for you is happening in your second house of money, honey. This is all about your income, what you own, your possessions, your resources, your priorities, the things that you have and the things that you own personally. And so this is really about like your personal stuff, right? And so this solar eclipse is really marking like a, a brand new beginning in these areas with these themes. Like where can you expand in terms of what you want to achieve for your resources, your money, the things that you want to have in life, you know? This is marking a massive new beginning here. Like, this could be a time where you're really wanting to go bigger in terms of your income or where you're wanting to generate more revenue, you're wanting to generate more money, you're wanting to start a new, something new that's going to bring in more money, that's going to be more stable, that's going to allow you to have more pleasure, more comfort, more beauty in your life, uh, that's going to be more secure, more solid, you know, more consistent. Now, we also have a, the Jupiter V Venus Neptune conjunction happening in your 12th house. So this is major. This is really transcending and healing and letting go of a lot and like expanding in terms of your healing. And so you could be learning a lot in terms of healing and, you know, thing like the subconscious and the dream realm and, you know, like spiritual topics and ethereal topics and like otherworldly stuff. There could be a lot going on in terms of like astral projection or, you know, like dealing with like a lot of different like spiritual or healing modalities and you could be like really learning a lot and expanding a lot here and just really diving in like the last couple of months and so but Jupiter is about to move out of Pisces and into your first house uh, this month this coming month in May and so this is going to be massive you know it's going to be very expansive for you and it'll be more about you and expanding you and expanding what you want in life and going after your desires and all of that. And so this is really like a beautiful energy. It's like a, a portal that's opening, that's like otherworldly, that's ethereal, that's spiritual. And it's really showing you where you can have more, you know, where you can have more, where it's okay to have more, where you can hold more, right? Where you're ready to hold more because you've been transcending and, and, letting go and moving through a lot of difficulty and a lot of difficult things and so this is a time where it's like okay i'm ready to hold more i'm ready to have more i'm ready to to embody more i'm ready to to have what i really want right so that is what i'm seeing for you aries for this solar eclipse if you are interested i have a new master class that i just launched this week it will be coming out uh in a week from now so actually a little like it'll be coming out like next week. So all the information is down below. It's called the Creator Masterclass and it is about creating magic that turns heads and creating things that make an impact and that truly captivate people and that inspire people and how to awaken and unlock that creative energy within you and how to share it with others and how to just create a very large impact in the world and inspire and empower others. It's going to be a very empowering and magical masterclass. So if you're interested, it is on early bird pricing right now. So go check it out down below. And then also I have a, another program. Well, actually 
the master class is not a program it's a master class but i have a program that is longer it is three months it is called goddess mode and that is starting this weekend and it is bad fucking ass like this the goddess energy is so badass but this program is about stepping into your power your full potential like owning your power in every part of your life shifting every part of your life upgrading like never fucking before it is life-changing and so if that is something else that you're interested in and see the link below but other than that follow me on instagram where i post free shit daily and that is the end of this video thank you so so much for watching let me know if this resonated down below as always i love to hear what you guys have to say and your feedback i always read your comments so i will see you guys in my other videos 